Protesters gather in Washington on the day President Trump set to decide the fate of DACA, deferred action for childhood arrivals. Courts placed the president's order on hold. Congress still is trying to reach a deal with both parties on Dreamers, the roughly 700,000 immigrants brought to the country illegally as children. Alfonso Aguilar, president of the Latino Partnership for Conservative Principles and the former chief of the U.S. Office of Citizenship, is here. Alfonso, welcome back to the program. Thank you so much for having me. It's been six months since the president moved to end DACA. The March 5th deadline is here, and yet we've seen no action in Congress. Do you think a solution is in sight? I think it's highly unlikely, unfortunately. Let me first say that the March 5th deadline really doesn't mean anything anymore. A uh, couple of, of federal district courts, one in New York and California, blocked the administration from ending the program. And just last week, the Supreme Court decided not to weigh in on the case right now at this moment. So I think the Supreme Court will end up uh, looking at the merits of DACA, but it will be by, by the summer of next year. So the political pressure is not there anymore to do something. So it's going to be difficult. I think Democrats are, uh, are looking at the election. I, I don't think they have been honest uh, brokers in, or, or, or they've been trying honestly to negotiate with Republicans. Uh, they fabricated all sorts of excuses not to get a deal with Republicans. Uh, all the Senate proposals collapsed in the Senate. Uh, in terms of Republicans, there is one last effort in the House, and that is to push the so-called good lap bill, which would not provide a path to citizenship to uh, those who benefited from DACA. It would give them legal status, a temporary status that could be renewed indefinitely. It wouldn't close the door to citizenship, but wouldn't give a special path to citizenship to, to the, to the so-called dreamers. Uh, they're trying to pass that without any Democratic votes. They need 218 Republican votes. Uh, it's going to be difficult. Very difficult. Yeah. If they were able to pass it in the mm -hmm. House, I think that would jumpstart the discussion, and then the White House could put pressure on the Senate. You mentioned the Democrats and how this has been such a contentious issue for them in particular. We know that Congress is supposed to pass another spending bill by March 23rd to keep the government running. And we remember the Democrats kind of forced a partial government shutdown over the issue of right. DACA. So do you think we're going to see another shutdown this month or in, in the coming months? Well, I think politically the Democrats know that uh, the American people don't want to see another shutdown. It really didn't help Democrats. I, th I think they may try in the discussions of the omnibus spending bill that's going to be discussed at the end of March to include a standalone DREAM Act. I, I don't think that's going to happen. Frankly, at this point, I don't see any pressure or interest from the Democrats to get something done on DACA, which to me validates the point that I think they're using the issue politically and they really don't want a solution. The U.S. bishops held a national call-in day for Congress to protect dreamers. I know you're Catholic as well. How can we balance sort of our faith as well as the law on, on this issue, do you think? Well, I think it's very important. I mean, as Catholics, I think we understand we have to be compassionate. We understand, respect the dignity of the human person. Uh, the dreamers are people who entered here through no fault of their own. They're part of our community. I think we should provide them a path to legal status and eventual citizenship. At the same time, I think it, as responsible citizens that we're called to be as, as Catholics, we have to understand, understand the need for law enforcement and for border security. I, I think we need to support policies that are welcoming of immigrants, but at the same time protect the security of the homeland. That balance is so critical. Alfonso Aguilar, president of the Latino Partnership for Conservative Principles and former chief of the U.S. Office of Citizenship. Thanks so much for your analysis. Thanks for having me.